hey guys welcome back this is me Maddie again showing you tutorials on how to edit photos easily on snapseed yeah okay yeah this is the picture guys as I promised you all that I'm gonna edit one more picture of uh, the model named Harleen uh, this image is bit underexposed and like uh, we are getting the natural sunlight from the above uh, from the top as you all can see okay so in this tutorial I'm gonna show you all that how to bring out the colors and the effect that you've been getting naturally from the sunlight and make this picture look perfect okay so let's start we'll share it with the snapseed yeah share uh, guys look this image uh, I was shooting uh, uh, while I was uh, clicking the picture uh, it was almost like evening time in the summers and uh, the good thing was I was clicking this image during golden hours so I was getting this perfect sunlight from the above and I have cropped the picture okay uh, so like I'm telling you before I have cropped the picture a bit because I thought that this is perfect for uh, the frame okay and right now we'll start with the tune effect as you all know that I always do start with this so let's go we'll start with the brightness okay we're gonna increase the brightness and keep it around 40 yeah contrast you definitely we are willing to increase the contrast because uh, as you all can see guys this we don't want this foggy effect in this image right now okay uh, you all can do that whatever you want to but uh, the thing is that right now i'm going to show you all uh, that how i want all you to see this image okay i'm going to increase the contrast not decrease it i'll put it around 45 to 50 but not 50 45 would be fine yeah yeah i'll go with the saturation increase the saturation uh, okay guys um, before working on the saturation let me all tell you again that saturation is used uh, to increase uh, to, you know, to pop out the colors of whatever uh, subject or um, the uh, objects you have in the image like look if you decrease the saturation look it's now it looks like a black and white image okay so if you increase it all the colors will come out mainly the highlighted part one so we're not gonna increase it much we're gonna increase it to 30 35 yeah i want this red color to yeah this is perfect this is looking perfect for me right now okay yeah ambience definitely we are going to increase ambience because and yes ambience is used <coughs> to uh, highlight the total area of an image look if you decrease it the light over the image like total area of the image has been like black and if you increase it look okay so we are going to increase the ambience in this and I'm gonna put it till 20 to 25 in between yeah this looks perfect for me now highlights if you want to increase the highlights it depends upon you and I think that yeah that's fine and shadows and look like uh, right now we are not going to decrease the shadows in this image why uh, let me show you why look this is the reason that i'm not going to increase because i have the texture effect of the wall on the back side of the subject okay and if i decrease the shadows uh, it will like totally black out and it won't look proper look if i decrease the shadows look and it's like not okay with the image so i'm gonna increase the shadows a bit and yeah and warm effect it depends and people look it's not uh, compulsory that you have to increase the warm effect right now uh, after apply applying the filter or you can separately increase the temperature if you want to in an image okay I'll show you how. this looks perfect for me okay so let me show you look this was the image before and now it looks like this okay yeah so next i'm gonna go with the details i'm going to increase the details a bit structure and i'm gonna put it around 20 perfect 
and sharpening it a bit okay okay yeah fine by my side okay now <coughs> i'll use the lens blur effect okay because in portraits it's like very good and, and again uh, let me uh, tell you guys that uh, those who over is watching this video my video for the first time i'm going to explain like each and every uh, effect that i'm using in snapseed right now uh, it's a blur strength okay look the part which is inside the circle is totally under focused and the um, and the part between the two circles is been very less focused and the part outside both of the circle is like totally blurred this is the blurred strength okay and generally we use it uh, around 30 to 40 so that it looks proper not more than that but mm, we are going to use 30 in our image okay and transition what is transition it's the distance between both of the circles look if you decrease it the distance will decrease and if you increase it it will increase and why we use the transition in order to um, like edit the image properly so that the blur effect it won't like totally occupy only uh, the curve only the area which we don't want to be blurred okay it's like uh, uh, excess amount over here very less amount over here and very like total nothing over here okay so okay we'll increase the transition and transition will keep it around 60 yeah fine and vintage strength look look at the borders guys okay look at the four corners of the my uh, image look okay so it depends upon you whether you want to keep it a white or you want to give it a bit a vignette effect so it depends upon you i'll choose to keep a bit effect of 20 would be fine from my side yeah and blur strength is 30 it's fine perfect and yeah it's fine from my side that's it okay look guys this was the before image and now it looks like this this was before and now it looks like this okay uh, right now i'm going to use the brush tool I, i'm not sure guys that uh, will i'll be keeping this blur tool for the uh, for more time it's just to see that whether i can bring out uh, use this over here and make it the color which i want you all to see Okay, it gives a little effect and it's fine. And I'm gonna burn it once more again. Yeah, it's perfect. It is perfect indeed. Okay. Okay. Fine. <coughs> uh, okay, guys. Now I'm going to tell you about the white balance which I was talking before to use the to whether to use the warm effect over there or not. Look. If you increase the temperature, the image will become like yellowish because it's like um, having sun in clouds or not having sun in clouds. It's like cool and it's hot, cool and hot. Okay, so I think that in this image, as we have the natural sunlight about the image, so I'm going to use the warm effect and it will look perfect from according to me. According to me, okay, you can use any one of them. I'll use this and I'll put it around 15 to 16. Yeah. Look. Okay, guys. Uh, you have many more effect over here. The frames, black and white, retro, retro lux, noir, green film, drama hormonal contracts takes the uh, glamour and and let me tell you guys that i have uploaded like uh, five to six videos before and 
many of the videos uh, like uh, mainly the straight ones I have done every editing with this drama effect over here and this HDR effect over here okay and in some of them I've also used uh, the uh, vintage effect so right now I'm gonna show you with that whether I'll be using the vintage effect or not but let's see what if some of them suits it or not okay guys if you like uh, if you like this for example if you like this uh, filter and you think that okay it's fine but I'm getting a bit uh, harsh motion uh, harsh effect in this then you can decrease the brightness or increase the brightness saturation style strength and vintage over here you have many options over here okay so you can use any one of them okay let's see which one to use if I'm willing to mm, no no I think that my image is fine without them and it is looking perfect indeed once again I'm gonna increase the details a bit not much yeah I'll use the brush tool minus 5 I'll burn the hair over here using the burn tool guys do remember that I'm using the burn tool over here okay and to highlight the portion over her hair because of the sunlight I'm using the dodge tool too okay going to use the burn tool a bit over her neck because it's looking very good over here and the parts uh, uh, the part over her neck it's been like popped out and it's looking perfect look you can use the dodge and burn tool over her eyes and make it more beautiful look whitening the part of, part of it okay whitening the part of it whitening it bit more ok fine now you'll use the burn to lower yeah over here over here then like this ok I think I've used a more bit yeah it is fine now yeah it's fine Okay guys, look, let me show you how the image was before. This was the image when I took it from my DSLR. It was like bit underexposed and not underexposed actually, but because of the sunlight, uh, sunlight from above, like I wasn't able to increase uh, my ISO settings or F number according to that, but I want this image to be perfect. So I thought that I will edit in, edit it in app and I'll take it as it is. So this is what I've come up with and now it looks like this. This was the image before and Okay guys and if you want uh, the red uh, frock over here to be more highlighted then you can use the saturation a bit. Okay and you can decrease the warm effect over here look it was like this you can decrease bit a very less like around minus 5 would be perfect yeah because of this uh, your red uh, frog it is brightened and the warm effect it is also still in there with the image now if you want again you can use the white balance you can get the effect which you wanted before done okay guys that's it i think that this is enough and i've shown you how to easily uh, convert any kind of photo which is underexposed or highly exposed to into a beautiful image like this into a beautiful image like this okay 
आई होप यू लाइक द वीडियो प्लीज़ गो सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल इट्स नेम डज मधु प्रभास and i promise you that i'm going to upload many more videos like this i hope you're liking all of my videos and support me leave your comments below if you have any kinds of question any kind of question just leave it in the comments and i'll reply to all of your questions thank you